So just a short little story here, but uh, Shan came over to put an AFR gauge in. And I'm working on this and I was doing the radiator stuff, which looks pretty nifty. Finally found a curly cues of a pigtail of a hose that'll work. Dun -da -da. So that works. Bottoms ran. Um, it's up a little bit high here so I can make pedestals with little mounts. Exactly where I want to hear. Fan clear is great. And then I'm just here and I'm working on stuff. And this truck all of a sudden just pulls up. And it's all like, hey, you want to grab this real quick? And I was like, sure, yeah, I will. So I'm going to find my fittings and play with this. I want to do a whole nice unboxing video for you guys. But y'all know what a welder does. It glues metal together and it's really cool. So I'm going to make it do that. And then we're going to do that. And then I'm going to weld that. And then we're going to put that in the truck. And then we're going to start the truck because that's the thing that's going to happen. Well, the noon alarm would go off right now, but I got this set up. Um, gas. I got a piece of test strip to get my arc going so that I can weld these in real quick. And we're just going to give it a go and see what the hell happens. I don't know. Let's, uh, first things first here. Oh. I'm guessing this button in the back. Huh. Well, yeah, seems, yeah. So I uh, opened the box and I ran that real quick. So now we're just gonna wing it and throw these in here because I'm impatient and I don't want to test anything else, but do it, do it now. Well, I'm not 100% happy here only because um, it's windy, so I'm not getting great gas coverage, so the welds are dark. And it's the first time I've used that. But, um, and I didn't use filler, that's just fusing. I'm gonna go over this again with some filler rod. But uh, overall, it's there at least. So, I'm happy. <laughs> well, I tacked that on there. I used some filler rod this time. It's, uh, <laughs> You just, you just gotta do what you gotta do in times of need at times, okay? So, give me a minute. Well, it was a little hot, but she'll hold, guys. She'll hold. Alrighty, so in the last video we made it to here, and now we are here. Tanks in. I don't have the sending unit in, I gotta pull it back out and run the wire for that once it's here, but it's not here, but I wanna start it. So I got gas, and I got that, and everything's ran, and I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna do something. So let's figure it out. Alright, so Daniel's underneath the truck, and I'm gonna dump a little bit of fuel in here, and uh, see, see if anything Daniel pours on the ground. Hopefully nothing. Yeah. Let's start slow. Anything? Not yet. Anything wet. You're going to want to look around the return and maybe there's a ratchet in the socket next to you. I got it. No leaks? Shannon, you're going to stand directly in the way of my video. Thanks, Shannon. Nothing, yeah. Nothing left. We're almost got three gallons in here. Oh, this gas can. The only way to dump gas in here is to dump at least on the at, at least half of it on the ground. It's the only way to do it. You got a little pinwheel on this front one up here. Do I? Yeah. How bad are we talking? Just where you can see this wet. Oh, that's enough to piss out of there. It's also enough to test it. Good thing it's got to come out. I can fill it with filler rod, but that's what we're going to put in there for now. Or should we just dump the whole three gallons in there and put some shugu on this? <laughs> Let me turn it. 
Yeah, that's a pretty good pull. That's more than a pinhole. And it ain't dripping yet, right? Who knows? You get started before it leaks all out? Yeah, well, it's already out. Alright, so I'm gonna turn the key and all that's hooked up, and we're gonna go through. You wanna take this for a half second? Oh. Power. Perform an auto before TPS startup wizard. It needs to be this way. We're or, fucking moving. No, this needs to be this. <laughs> I see what you're saying. You want to go up there? I don't have a throttle cable yet. I'll bet you that tank strip like. And cycle the throttle all the way open. Hold up. Wizard. Make sure ignition is on and engine is started. Start. Slowly. What? Slowly move the throttle open. All the way? Yep. I'm gonna come out here with you. Just slowly, open. slowly open and then slowly release. Do this twice. Well, now that my phone is completely out of the freezer after it was too hot to record anything, um, Shan, I guess, if you want. My fuel pressure might not be set correctly. It might be too low. And I have no vacuum lines hooked up to anything. That's probably the biggest issue here. Actually, it probably is. Yeah, I need to hit it again. All right, now. Again. Oh, I need a vacuum line to my fuel pressure regulator. You want me to pause this? Try it again. Go. Again. Yeah, I'm gonna hook the rest of these back. Um, Shan, if you want a video again. Danny, if you want to turn the key. I'm gonna block off this. I had to switch map bars real quick. Right now.
Nice. Well, I was just making sure. It ran, you know? You gotta do stuff. Well, that was cool. So, next step is crossover pipe and the rest of the stuff. I need to pull my tank out and put the sending unit in. Fill a couple little pinholes on my welds there. That's all right. But it did a thing, so that was cool. So I'm gonna change the fluid real quick. Shane, you almost done with that thing? No. Oh. Is this gonna be faster than my truck? Easily. Oh. Okay, well. Got a throttle cable ran. And everything else, so. Turn the key right quick. cleaned up my mess um, and it starts throttle cable all that all that's left is the radiator mounts I'm still waiting for my aluminum L my wastegate need to go get some vacuum lines and some hose clamps make the fan bracket and weld up a crossover and exhaust and I have three days off after tonight and that's what's gonna get done and then we'll be driving this so stay tuned it's gonna be fun keep on keeping on guys Bud light time.